Hey guys, this is Kenzo. Today I'm at Kyoto Station and I'm gonna hike to one of the highest peaks around Kyoto. Here comes my train, so let's jump in it. So just a 20 minute train ride brought me to Katata station and that's the mountain I'm gonna climb right now looks like the perfect day for hiking and I'm gonna take the bus let's go so this is the bus terminal right in front of Katata station and I'm walking towards the bus stop number three many hikers waiting for the same bus The problem is not many bus services available to the mountain I'm gonna go around. I think this bus is available only on weekends. So that's why there are many hikers taking on the same bus. Mm -hmm. So the bus stop I just got off at is called Bomura and as the timetable suggests there is <laughs> only one bus for weekends and for weekdays um, no zero no bus so this course I'm now walking can be only accessed on weekends if you are transportation limited to public and the bus is never coming back here so which means people including me are walking to the summit which is actually behind of the hill much higher and then has have to go down to the other side to take a train going back to Kyoto <laughs> so it's kind of challenging course it's not super easy one anyway let's do it this is a famous restaurant standing in front of the entry point of the hike the name is Hirasanso very traditional style Japanese restaurant anyway the course is gonna be very expensive one day my dream but today my mission is to do hiking so let's start beautiful Shinto shrine at the entrance look at this the hiking route now I'm walking has some uh, accidents unfortunately today three people died previous year two people died so we have to be careful yeah seriously beautiful bridge can you hear the sound of the water I just passed one Shinto shrine and now getting closer to one Buddhist temple so these are like local guardian shrine and temple and supported by people living around here. Since the past, mountains were worshipped as like a dwelling places of uh, Shinto and Buddhist deities. So it's really common to spot a shrine or temple at the bottom of the mountains or even at the top of the mountains. It's really peaceful around here.
And now this is the start. You can tell how steep. So now the sound from the road has become very quiet but I'm still in the middle of the planted cedar forest it is kind of dark and the scenery is quite same everywhere so it's a little bit boring I actually walked on the same route in last winter and I made a YouTube video so if you haven't seen that one, please check it from the link above. And compared to the road covered with snow at the time, now this is a early autumn in Japan. Of course, no snow at all. It's not really bad, much easier. So here, you can see the red mark on a tree, right? Most of the popular trails, they usually have mark or tapes and that indicates the correct route to take so when you get lost it's good to try finding those signs they usually have brighter colors like red or pink or orange well on the other hand this uh, blue tape wrapping the trunk of the cedar tree means <laughs> it's a protection from uh, wild animals, uh, usually deers. In autumn, male deers, they're going to sharpen their antlers using those trees. But for foresters, those trees are quite valuable to sell. So they wrap the trees so that animals don't like to approach it. I thought it was a deer antler. <laughs> yeah, because usually they shed the antlers in winter but actually this one is just a piece of the tree keep following the red signs and red tapes making sure you're on the right track getting up higher the scenery of the forest has changed a little bit there are more deciduous trees a variety of trees Look at the beautiful purple flowers. Wow, there's so many of them. But I guess this one, Japanese name is Torikabuto. It's quite poisonous. <laughs> it has a power to kill people, so just for the record. Look at that beautiful beech trees. The mountain is called Bunagatake or Mount Buna and Buna means those trees. No wonder they are so common around here. <laughs> Lots of chestnuts. It must be the best season for wild animals living in the mountain to eat a lot of meal before having a seriously cold winter. So, it's gonna be quite a harsh environment. The common animals in this mountain is definitely deer or shika in Japanese. There's so many here. And I've never seen them, but uh, it is said that there are a few black bears. That's why some hikers carry a bell to scare them away. Well, I think I made it, <sighs> reaching the first peak. The place name is called Gotenyama Summit. <sighs> All the way, the path was quite steep, walking up, 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 up. But it really was coming here. No clouds at all. It couldn't be better. There's a rescue point here because 
there are a few trees so good for the helicopter well I didn't spend much time at the summit of Goten Yama because there's still a certain way to go this downhill is also quite steep and so many little rocks and they look quite slippery if I put my foot in the wrong, in the wrong place so I need to be very careful most of the accidents in the mountain happens when people are climbing down hopefully I'm not gonna be the one to be rescued by helicopter the cute bug you can see it look at that Whew, wow look at that beautiful mountains oh and uh when I looked back summit of Mount Horai that's another beautiful mountain and at the top of the Mount Horai there is a ski resort so you can see some areas having no trees and some buildings not only the snow season but Mount Horai is a very popular place for tourists as there's a big ropeway connecting the bottom and top and there's a restaurant and beautiful open deck so if you don't want to <laughs> do serious hiking try Mount Horai it's a really wonderful place to go so now you can notice very few trees they're almost becoming like more like bush rather than trees as I'm getting quite higher point so especially in winter these are all going to be under the snow and a strong wind from the north is blowing and hitting all the time that's why for trees it's really hard to survive so they have to lower the size to stay underneath the water underneath the snow until next spring oh wow mount buna Bunagatake the summit is right over here. Can you see it? Yeah. Now it's, I think, around half past 11. So it took about two hours for me to reach here. Yeah, it's not really bad time. But I can be too lazy because I need to catch a bus on the other side of the mountains. I don't want to miss it. So, gamarimasu. Yes. Wow, even much further north, I can see now that the side of the Sea of Japan, Nihonkai, and it's going to be really cold area in winter. But they've got delicious snow crab in winter, so mm. especially my mom can't wait to go down there, having a nice time in a onsen bath and eating gorgeous snow crab for dinner. Yeah, my family, every year, make a family trip to the side of the Sea of Japan. It's a really nice place. Wow, can you see so many dragonflies? It's autumn now. Nice to be up here. 360 view. Yeah, almost there. Woo. Wow, it's it's speechless. I haven't reached the summit yet, but already the view is really stunning. I can feel so refreshing breeze. It's perfect temperature. I can see at the bottom there is a little farming area sandwiched by mountains and the river is running in the middle. And in the past that route was really important to bring fish 
from the north, the Sea of Japan, to the south, the city of Kyoto, especially the fish, saba or uh, mackerel, was really common item to bring from the north to the back then Kyoto was the capital city. So it was a big market. Even today, there are several uh, mackerel specialized sushi shops along the way. Whew. Just right underneath the summit, the path is quite rocky, rugged again. I can clearly see the summit. So there are like two bumps, one on the right and the other on the left. The right one is kind of fake summit <laughs> and the real summit is left side. But the first bump should be important in the section because there are several ways going down to... <laughs> Wow, to the other side, the side of Lake Biwa, Japan's largest lake. Ooh, I haven't seen it before. Only after people reach here. Wow, they can see the lake. So dramatic. What a surprise. All right. Let's go to the summit. Finally, I made it! The summit of Mount Buna. Wow, what a perfect day! People are taking pictures. They look so happy. Wow, even a little, little boy. He has made it. Wow, that's great. They look like four year, five year. <laughs> Amazing. Other hikers around here were so surprised by looking at the little boys. Yep, you can do it. Alright, so welcome to the summit of Mount Bunagatake. Can you see it? The height is 1,214 meters. Actually, this is my sixth or seventh time to be here. But this Mount Buna is always special for me because the height, 1214, is the same as my birthday. December 14th. So I named it my birthday mountain. Well, thank you for joining my virtual hiking tour. So this is the summit and I hope one day you guys can be here and I hope I'll be your tour guide. Look at the view of Lake Biwa. It's so gorgeous. Many people around here uh, eating nice lunch. I might have some lunch around here or maybe just a little quieter place on the way down to the side of Lake Biwa. Anyway, made it. I'm so happy now. Quite a few people around here. I guess half of them must have come from the Lake Biwa side. And people also drove their cars to the entry point of the mountain. Actually, there are so many hiking courses in this Mount Bunagatake, so that's why I love it. Every time I can choose a different approach. And on the other side of the lake, there are also many beautiful mountains and the really nice hiking trails. So one day I might shoot another video. Well, because this place is so nice and the view is just perfect, I couldn't resist my appetite. So I decided to make a quick lunch by the summit.
such an amazing place. Oh, I think the cup ramen should be ready now. Today's choice is Maruchan Semen. Spicy noodles. It should be good now. Ta da! This is the lunch today. Ooh, looks very spicy. But it's gonna be perfect after sweating a lot. So this will definitely supply my energy, which can be necessary for the way down. Yep, I know, there's still a long way to go. Before going down, I'd like to show you guys what items I brought. So first of all, rain jacket and rain pants are very important. Even though the weather is too perfect today, but the mountain weather always can change, so I must bring these two, just in case. And another just in case item is a walking stick. In case if I broke my bones and couldn't walk any further, if I had these walking sticks, there is a still a possibility for me to getting down without calling for the rescue. And it's just a garbage bag. Never throw away rubbish in a beautiful mountain. Right? So, and water. So, two bottles of five milliliters. So, that makes one liter. Plus one more. Thermos. This one is for the cold water. So, about two liters of water I brought. And this is the emergency kit, first aid items, and some candies. And that is a poison remover, especially in autumn. There are some cases that people are attacked by the hornets and wasps. And in this section, I've got, oh yeah, this is a bug spray and towel. <laughs> this is kind of stupid item. This is the uh, bear spray. I never use it, of course, but just in case. And what else? Oh yeah, this is the uh, issue. This is the uh, headlamp. Now daytime is getting shorter, so if it gets too dark, it's quite dangerous. So I always bring headlight. And another important item, the cable and battery. I use the map installed in my iPhone. So if I lost the power of my phone, that's going to be very critical. So I always have a big amount of electric battery and of course the cable tissue. And I think hmm, that's all. And my Hiking shoes today, it's a little simple one. Yeah, for the mountains around Kyoto, this kind of hiking shoes would be perfect. And Uniqlo shorts and just t-shirts, simple. So before leaving, once again, please make sure nothing is left behind. Your items and some trash left on the ground is not gonna be good so make it 100% sure and let's go oops goodbye to the summit I can always see the lake what a great way to go down
All right, so the shortest way from the summit to the bus station at the bottom is going down to Yakumogahara direction. So this is the correct approach. All right, let's hit it. Such a nice place. I can really feel autumn. And the sound of crashing fallen leaves makes me so relaxed. Wow, this is quite... I guess they are also beech trees. If the summit is very crowded, I would choose having lunch in this spot. Because they're also nice shade, so must be good if the temperature is a bit higher than today. <laughs> All of a sudden, I uh, came across quite a spacious area. Really nice. Oh, I wish I could bring my tent. Perfect camping site. Must be a lot of stars at night. I found out there used to be a ski resort. Uh, that's why only the area around here has no trees, nice view, and gentle slope. Well, I'm usually not a big fan of hiking down to the bottom because there's no much excitement. But this route is really nice because I can see the lake via quite often. And this old ski area is really spacious. Not many trees, so the sky is big and very quiet. It's now only me walking down. Oh, so many pampas grasses. Creating very autumn atmosphere. This one. Oh my god, that's so good. I love it. Look at the young chestnut shell. Very cute. <laughs> and it doesn't hurt me. I'm now walking through, it's a really peaceful, quiet, and flat <laughs> place. This place is called Yakumogahara. This is a wetland. So that means this place is lower compared to the hills which are surrounding this place. So all the moisture and water goes down to this place and stays here. So this place is quite uh, wet. It doesn't look wet so much, but right now I can hear the sound of water. So it's one of the streams joining the wetland. Oh yeah, find it, water is running running toward a small pond or something over there. Let's go and check it out. Here it is. The small pond. And around the pond it is a great place to take a rest. Oh wow, look at that. You can actually walk across the pond, <laughs> but uh, Ooh, it's a little scary, <laughs> especially in the middle part. Well, let me give it a shot. Oh my god. Really? Am I crazy? Okay, okay, the first section. wasn't a big deal and this section looks the more solid part oh but <laughs> uh -uh. no way no way so it's better to stay here but yeah it's definitely the wetland and a perfect picnic place
。哇！啊 ！Look at that! Mother Lake, Lake Biwa, the biggest freshwater lake in Japan. To the train, train track. Can you see that over there? Focus it. Yeah. So that's the JR line for the train going back to Kyoto. <laughs> Wow, it's still quite far away, but it looks like just a downhill. Yep, just a downhill. I think I'll be able to do it. <laughs> Let's gamble So now it's three o'clock in the afternoon. My bus is leaving in about 90 minutes. So I'm still <laughs> staying at the higher location and getting a bit anxious about the time limit well maybe i need to i need to shorten the time of shooting videos so maybe next time when you see me we'll be right in front of the bus stop i hope see you then Coming down really close to the bottom where there's a bus stop. Wow. Until this place, it was just like the entrance. <laughs> All what I needed. Oh, it was dark and so many steps and the scenery didn't change at all. Oh, but finally, this refreshing sound of river it's beautiful oh congratulate me and if i'm lucky i will be able to take earlier bus so i guess i should run to the bus stop now i'm not sure i can make it but let me do my best Whew. yay i made it I made it to the bus. Thank you very much for cheering up me. I did it. I <laughs> running all the time. Ah, oh, to take one bus area. Now it's four o'clock. So the total hiking time is from 9.30 to four o'clock. I don't know how long, uh, seven hours, not too bad. All right, let's hop into the bus. Go back to the station, thanks. So luckily, I should arrive at the train station and that's the mountain I just came from. From the morning to the evening, the weather has been so perfect. Still, there's no clouds at all. And I'm of course quite thirsty because I kept running to catch the bus and I found the small restaurant or a shop let me try it so today i walked all the way from the back side of the uh, mount bunagatake to the largest lake of japan and what i'm holding right now is tada akiyaji This is a seasonal beer made by Kirin Aki Aji. The name of this um, beer literally means autumn taste, autumn flavor. I thought it's gonna be the perfect match for the hike I did today. And now I'm having beer time. Hi, Oskai Sama desu. Aki Aji. Oh my gosh, I just can't wait. Let's drink. Bye bye. Wow. 
では、いただきます。うー、乾杯。あー。わーい、かげー。<笑>あ、ね、ありがとうございます。